Good day everybody, this is Nel Carroco again and today we will help one of my students, Mr. Mohamed Sirajukin on how to do this circular, uh, half circle staircase in Dialoxivo. Okay, so let's go and do it now. So just go and copy this one, right click and save image as and we're going to use this one in our report so i'll save it in my desktop and then i'm going to open my dialax evo software okay so my dialax evo is now opening and we're going to insert this image in this dialax evo so i'm going to import plan i'm going to use an open file and then i'll go to the desktop and then i'll click this one and say open and then i'll say next and then i'll use the scale here so i can see it's eight point 10 so what i'm going to do is i will measure it from here up to here and i will type eight oh actually it's in meters so it's 0 0.81 0 0.81 and then press enter and then finish now we have our um image that we're going to use for this um tutorial so i think this is a screenshot from his dialogues eve already but uh, since Muhammad is asking how he can do it, so Muhammad is very easy because we cannot uh, use the array in Boolean here because it has a different size of the steps. So what we're going to do is we will do it one by one, like manually. So to do that, go to this uh, furniture and objects tab and then press this new extrusion body and then just trace this one, follow it like this and this and this and if you made a mistake right click and then close you just need to right click and edit polygon okay so it's much better if you have the cad file because it will snap on the end of every lines or every object and then we need to make sure that this height is only 0 0.05 or even or whatever the thickness of your a thread or steps so this one is the height so this is 0 0.05 and what i'm going to do i'll go to the elevation view and create oh let's okay let's create a base plan first and there you go i establish a ground floor because i'm going i'm planning to um, create um grid so that i know exactly where is my um steps so i'm going to create uh line here so i press this draw reference line and then i will space this one every step is 0.15 height and i will say this is maybe 10 pieces there you go or i will add it later and then this first step i will move it now move it here up 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 and there you go so this is now my first step then I'll go to the, to the plan view, go to the object tab again, and draw extrusion bud here. And then I will trace this one again. And then 0 0.05, make the thickness as 0 0.05, go to the elevation view and move it like this. Because you need to make sure that the height of your steps will be always on the 15 uh, centi. So it will be look like that. And then you might be asking, how can I create the handrail? Now, this is the problem because uh, it's very hard to create a handrail in a spiral unless you will do it in SketchUp or other 3D software. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a post for every steps just to show that uh, we have some kind of handrail for every step. Okay, so I will create another one. And then make this one as 0 0.05. Again, you can do a 0 0.05 in one shot for everything later on. I will do it. Okay, so you can be more efficient with your work. So I will not change the height first. I will create all the tracing and then do the changing of the height in one shot later. Okay. Okay, so I'm done now with all um the threads so what i'm going to do is i will change all the steps in one shot so you will be more efficient so i will click all of this and press shift to add
Oops, this one is not. And press control if you want to minus. Okay, you can see here that these are all one meter height. So what I'm going to do is I will press this one and then type points uh zero five. And now it's there. And it's now going to the elevation view. It's all uh, on the same thickness. So I will click the first one and adjust the height. So I'll move it. Oops. I will edit it first. Okay. Click this one. Go to the elevation view and move it up. Okay. So this is a little time consuming. But because you really want to know how to do the staircase, that's why we are doing it. But actually, uh, you don't really need to do it. Um, unless, of course, you want to use this as part of your presentation. Okay, I think I need to move my grid into, uh, say, point, yeah, it's point 15, but I need to move it downward so that the snapping point will be on the grid. Okay, I will create a new one and assume this one to be the starting point. So point 15, and then I'll say 15 pieces. Yeah, okay, I will delete this one now because I want this object to be snapping on the grid rather than assuming the height every time I, every time I move it. Okay, so let's go to the plan view and move this one up, elevation view, right click, move it up. And yes, there you go. So it's snapping on the grid. Okay, so go to the elevation again, move it up. There you go. So maybe I need to extend my reference line. Well, I will click all of this everything. So it will be here now. Okay. So now Muhammad, you're, you have now your... um staircase and if you want to create the walls so let's go and try to create a wall and then the room is there okay i don't have the cut cut file that's why it looks crazy but um yes of course if you have the cut file then it's much easier to do this one and then if you go to the room and look at this so let's go to the dream view there you go now you have your lovely staircase and of course make sure that the second level will reach up to this one and if you want to cut this area because it's open to the second floor you can also use this uh, cut out tool so this is how it looks for your staircase and of course you need to create a landing because it it should have a landing because we don't have the second floor yet, but we need to create a landing. So go to the extrusion again. And so go to the extrusion body again and then create a landing here. Let's just say we created a nice landing. And then the thickness of the floor may be point, uh, 15. So go to the elevation view and then move it up. You can use the side tab to check again the levels. And yeah, because this step will be here, so it will look like this. Okay, go to the roof tab, and there you go. Now you have your staircase. And if you want to make the height, the height of your ceiling to be doubled, you either cut it or make this ceiling height to be doubled. And you can do that by saying this is four meters. And let's see how it looks when you go to the room tab. Or maybe you need to make it more like five meters. There you go. And then you make you can make the opening now or maybe a door. I don't know how it looks. So yes. And if you want to create a handrail, you can actually create um a simple handrail like a vertical rod just to show that it has something like a handrail. Because it's really hard to create a spiral handrail here in Dialux Evo. Because Dialux Evo is more of into flat extrusion only. And that um, circular motion uh, extrusion object. Okay. Yeah. So, yes. That's it for now. And I hope you learned something today, Muhammad. Uh, if you have other concerns about the course just let me know okay so see you again on the next video